You're listening to the Confidence Within podcast. If you are a successful professional entrepreneur who is nonetheless struggling with the fear of public speaking, then you are in the right place. This podcast is all about igniting your inner confidence, learning to show up with genuine authority and brilliance, and becoming the best version of yourself. I'm your host, Victoria Eliasnyansky, and welcome to my show. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of the Confidence Within podcast. Today, we're going to talk about how to speak with confidence and authority when you're an introvert. What does being an introvert have to do with confidence? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I know so many people are thinking, oh, well, but I'm an introvert. That's why I am not good with public speaking, or that's why I don't feel comfortable speaking in front of large audiences, or that's why I don't want to be in the spotlight. No, being an introvert just means that you have a very specific personality where you drain and recharge differently than extroverts. That's all it means. I really want to break this misconception that introverts are hermits and they are antisocial. No, we are not hermits and antisocial. We're not even shy. Anybody can be shy. Extroverts could be shy too. All we are as introverts are simply people who are being drained by being out in the crowds, by speaking to a lot of people, by going to a party, by go into a networking event. Those things drain us. And for us to recharge, we need to be alone. Or at least we need some peace and quiet. And that's it. That's really the difference between an introvert and an extrovert. And so as an introvert, you do not have an excuse why you cannot conquer the fear of public speaking. I am very much an introvert. And I obviously was able to conquer my speaking anxiety, and so can you. However, what you want to do is you want to play to your strength. Just like extroverts play to their strength when they speak, we introverts, we also want to play to our strengths. We want to make it easier for us. And I'm going to tell you how to make it easier for you right now. What comes natural to an introvert? When I'm thinking of myself, what comes natural to me is shifting the focus away from me to another person. So for example, my biggest nightmare used to be networking events. I don't do them anymore, but back in my 20s when I was building my first business, and it was a while back, so back then, you can only grow and build your business through social in-person networking events, not social media. Totally dated myself here. But that was my biggest nightmare. To go to a networking event as an introvert was something I detested big time. I would go and I would hate every minute of it and I would come home and I would be absolutely drained. And because I couldn't get out of it, I had to do it. I had to come up with some mechanism for dealing with it. And so my solution was playing to my strength. I knew how to shift the focus away from me to another person. And so I would go to a networking event I would bring my cards, I would be ready to talk about my business if I'm asked. However, when I spoke with someone, I would immediately shift the focus from me to them. How would I do that? By asking them questions, of course, right? We all know how that works. You start asking somebody meaningful questions about their business, about their life, and they get so interested in talking about themselves that the conversation becomes you asking questions and you listening and making meaningful responses. However, the conversation is not revolving around you, which makes it a lot easier. And they always ask you what you do as well. So you still have a chance to talk about your business, but you're not struggling with what do I talk about because you know you're just going to ask questions. However, when you're speaking on stage or you're speaking in a meeting, you can't do that, right? You're the one speaking. You can't physically shift the focus away from you and start asking somebody questions so you don't have to talk. It doesn't work this way. However, you can still shift your focus away from you. You can shift your mental focus away from you. And I've talked about it on my other podcast episodes 
And if you want to listen to me talking in detail about shifting the focus away from you to your audience, listen to the episode 003. Stop focusing on you and your fear and start focusing only on one thing, your audience. We as introverts, we are really good at shifting the focus from us to them. So take advantage of that. Learn to harness that power of shifting the focus away from you. Another big difference between introverts and extroverts is that introverts really don't like to speak unprepared. They don't like to do anything unprepared, but they specifically don't like to speak unprepared. Your strength is knowing how to prepare for something, how to be ready for something. As an introvert, you probably spend a lot of time thinking through things. Why not take that power of thinking through and apply it to your speaking? Sometimes you have to speak spontaneously, and that's a topic for another conversation. But whenever you know you can't prepare, take that time. If you can take the element of surprise, the element of something unexpected happening out, and by preparing, you don't guarantee that nothing unexpected will happen, but at least you are up in your chances, take that opportunity. Prepare really well. Think what you're going to say. Think how you're going to say it. Again, think about your audience. Think how you want to make your audience feel. Take the power of an introvert to prepare well and apply it. This show is brought to you by my Brilliant Speakers Academy program. Brilliant Speakers Academy is an in-depth coaching program for high-level professionals and entrepreneurs. It's designed to obliterate your fear of public speaking for good, drastically improve your communication and presentation skills, and help you show up with genuine confidence, authority, and brilliance. To learn more about the program, go to www.brilliantspeakersacademy.com. And the last thing, make sure that you're completely recharged. Again, knowing yourself is already half the battle. If you know you are an introvert, and again, the way you know it is simply that if you go out there into the world and a big group of people, after a while, you feel completely drained. And you know, if you stay by yourself, you get recharged. That tells you right away you're an introvert. Use your knowledge to not put yourself in a situation where you're out of your battery when you need it the most. Here is an example. If you know that you need to speak, maybe you're giving a presentation, maybe you are doing a podcast interview, maybe you just have a meeting. If you know that you have to have a full battery, then don't drain it before. Don't go and socialize. Don't go and chat with people if you can help it. Try to completely recharge your battery by being alone, by preparing, by thinking through things and then showing up with your battery full and intact. Then you're going to have that full battery to drain while you speak. And the fuller your battery is, the easier it will be for you to stay in the flow, to stay in the high energy and not deflate halfway through. Let me give you an example of somebody who knew really well how to recharge and drain his battery. This famous person is Elvis Presley. It wasn't mentioned in the film, he was an introvert. How surprising, right? Talk about famous introverts. Would you ever guess? No, because when you see him in front of a crowd, giving his all, doing his thing, giving everything, and if you've watched the movie, you know what I mean, you would never think he's an introvert. He looked very extroverted. However, he truly was an introvert. And he knew how to recharge his batteries, and how to drain his batteries on stage. For any big concert, he would have his trailer a little bit away from the venue, and he liked to be alone right before the concert. Of course, there were people around him all the time. He was never truly alone, but he tried to be as alone and focused as possible because he knew before any concert, that was his time to recharge his batteries. So he tried to stay quiet, and then he walked all the way from his trailer to the venue, alone, again, as much alone as he could be, obviously. But that was his time to think and to focus. That was his time 
to recharge his batteries so that he can step on stage and drain them completely. So take this concept of draining and recharging batteries and make it your own. Try to pay attention when you're drained and find an opportunity to recharge, especially if you know that you're about to speak. As an introvert, you have a lot of strength. Use those strengths to your advantage. Also know yourself. If you know yourself, you know how to make things work. And don't let anybody tell you that if you're an introvert, you'll always be afraid of public speaking. Public speaking is a skill. And like any skill, it can be learned, implemented, internalized, practiced, and mastered. You absolutely can master this skill. It doesn't matter if you are an extrovert or an introvert. I hope this was helpful. And if you need my support in overcoming the fear of public speaking and showing up with genuine confidence, authority, and brilliance, then go to www.brilliantspeakersacademy.com and apply to learn more about my coaching program. I can't wait to hear from you, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.